Hello my dear friends, welcome back to our channel. Here we are again for another interesting discussion of some topics. This is your teacher Fred and today we are going to discuss about propagating trees and fruit trees. But before that, I would like to invite everyone to please subscribe to our channel so that you will be notified and updated for our upcoming videos. Don't forget to hit the notification bell. Also, please click the like button and share to others for them to learn as well. Okay, we will start now. Come on, let's go ahead and learn together. Planting and propagating trees and fruit-bearing trees is a source of livelihood for many Filipino families. Nowadays, many people engage in this as a source of additional income for their daily needs. Fruit-bearing trees can be planted in your backyard, depend on several factors, the space in your backyard, the kind of soil, and the type of climate in your own community. The pupils should be able to demonstrate understanding of scientific practices in planting and propagating trees and fruit bearing trees. It is important, however, to first learn the benefits derived from planting and propagating trees and fruit bearing trees to families and communities. This lesson will discuss these benefits. Let me tell you first what is the meaning of plant propagation. Plant propagation is the process of reproducing or creating a new plant or seedling. It is an important part of gardening, whether outdoors or indoors. Plants are living things that grow either through the roots stems and leaves of their flowers, fruits, and seeds. It is a method of growing new plants or from parts of existing plants. It can be sexual or asexual propagation. Sexual propagation is growing trees through their seeds. Asexual propagation can be done through its parts. Okay. Now let's talk about the benefits derived from planting trees and fruit bearing trees to families and communities. Trees are valuable to the family and the community for the products and amenities they give such as First, food like fruits, vegetables, nuts, and sugar. Second, wood used as a fuel for cooking and heating. Third, construction materials, which include lumber, plywood, and board. Fourth, fiber for the production of pulp and paper. Fifth, chemical products such as rubber and turpentine. Trees also have other benefits in maintaining a healthy environment. And these benefits are as follows. Number one, they provide shade and fresh air around the house, along the streets, and surroundings. Trees are very needed by people in this time of climate change. When the temperature is high, the heat of the sun becomes intense. Second, they protect the soil from erosion. Trees absorb water through the roots and that will avoid the soil to erode and flush to the other areas. Number three, they help maintain high quality water supply. The roots of the plants and trees help strain the dirt and cleans the water as it passes through the roots. Number four, the root system promotes soil stability. This means that the soil held by the roots remain there and does not erode. Number five, they serve as 
windbreakers during typhoons and storms, thus reducing the destruction of home and agricultural crops. A typhoon that is strong usually moves at a very fast speed. It continues to be that strong if there are no barriers on the path where it moves. But when it passes barriers like mountains and trees, slows down and its speed is reduced. Small crops and plants as well as houses are safe when typhoon is weak. Number 6. They serve as vulnerable wildlife habitats. Many living organisms prefer to live on forest areas to avoid crowded people and for them to multiply. Number 7. They help reduce pollution in congested urban areas. Remember that trees take in carbon dioxide emitted from vehicles that belches smoke. The more trees present, the less amount of carbon dioxide is in the air. Number 8. They improve the atmosphere of a place by giving a feeling of freshness and coolness as they reduce temperature. Number 9. They prevent river and lake sedimentation. Have you observed a river bank that is lined endlessly with full ground trees? These trees help hold the water in the lake and river and keep it there. This prevents the lake and river from drying up. They prevent floods. Floods occur when water from rain rushes in causing soil erosion. However, there are trees to serve as barriers and the roots to hold the water, flood will not occur. And those are the benefits of propagating plant trees. Now, let us know some of the common trees planted in both rural and urban areas. Number one is Nara. Number two is Yakal. Apitong. Acacia. Ipil Ipil. Palm tree. Rubber tree. Bamboo tree. Molave and mahogany and etc let's also have the examples of some fruit bearing trees we have duhat mango santol coconut orange pomelo atis langka or jackfruit chico and banana and there are so many fruit bearing trees as well. Those are the following examples of trees and fruit bearing trees. Now, look at your backyard. Observe if you have trees in your backyard. If yes, what are they? What are the name of those trees? Is it on the example that we have? Great job! And now, Let's talk about marketing seedlings of fruit-bearing trees. But what do we mean by marketing seedling? Marketing seedlings is one of the biggest challenges in orchard gardening. One of its significant steps is to ensure that the product is ready to market. So, it needs to come with specific standard for analyzing, ensuring quality control. And what are the characteristics of marketable seedlings? Marketable seedlings must have strong, thick, and healthy stems. Each seedling has five or more leaves and has established a healthy root system to defend themselves against other plants for sunrise, space to grow, and essential nutrients. And that is it, my dear friends. Always remember that planting trees are very important not only to our life but to our community. And now, 
It is your turn to let everyone know what you have learned. That's all for today's lesson, my dear friends. I hope you learned something. We appreciate your attentiveness in listening and watching to this video. We will discuss more lessons in our next videos. So don't forget to hit subscribe to support our channel. I would like to say thank you for those who already subscribed to our channel as well. We also encourage you to please watch our other educational videos for you to learn more, most especially about the importance of agriculture in our lives. Okay, that's all for today's lessons my dear friends. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.